Hi everyone, if you are listening to me today, my name is Brian Chongwein, the lead instructor here at John IT Solutions. I'm a database administrator with over 10 years of experience in the IT field. And over these years, I've seen how people transition from absolute beginners in IT to IT professionals because that is what I used to be. I used to be an absolute beginner in IT and today I'm an IT professional and through the initiatives of Join IT, we have trained a lot of people from that same state who are today working as database administrators and cloud engineers. So if you're listening to me today, I'm coming to talk to you a little bit about Join IT solutions and the upcoming trainings that we have. So stay with me. I'm going to start telling you about John IT Solutions. So John IT Solutions is an IT consultancy, you know, specialized in bridging the gap by helping individuals like you, who is an absolute beginner, to start and develop an IT career. We also help small businesses in monitoring and implementing IT solutions that will help grow their businesses. The next thing we're going to look at is uh, trainings. You know, there are a lot of IT trainings out there, and if you don't know exactly where to start or where to go to, you might miss a lot of information. IT is a very large world. When we talk of IT, we have various disciplines within IT that you can get into. We have cyber security, we have database administration, we have IT management, things like Scrum Master, or project management. You know, we have networking, we have system administration, we have system engineering. So there are a lot of things out there and everyone will tell you, this is what I am doing, this is what I'm doing. You need to have a solid understanding of this before making a decision. What can help you to make a decision is using what you currently know to see if you can fit into any of these. So our upcoming training is SQL Server Database Administration. And now I always like to explain to people what database administration is all about, right? It is very important you understand. Once you understand this, you can look deep in you and see what skills do you already have that can help you jumpstart that career in IT as a database administrator. So what is database administration? Database administration is all about managing and maintaining data. That is all about it, you manage and maintain data. The question now you're asking yourself is, what is data? How do you manage and how do you maintain data? I always explain this looking back at everyone. If you are here today, you have a smartphone, you have uh, documents at home, all of those to you, that is data. The contact is stored on your phone, the pictures, the music, the messages, that is data that you store on your phone. That data resides in a database. When someone gives you the contact, my number is 210-663-0020. My name is Brian. That is data. Once you store that data in your phone, that becomes information that you can use. You can use that data which has transitioned to information to give me a call. So we all already have some understanding about database administration. Now, what do you do as a database administrator already? You are able to store data in your phone. You are able to manage your data by, you know, either updating those contacts. You are able to back up your data in the cloud so that if your phone is stolen, you just buy a new phone and you restore that data. That is called disaster recovery. You are able to ensure high availability of your data. And what does that mean? That means that if your phone is not available, you will lose calls, you will miss calls, you will not be able to you know, make calls, right? You might not be able to read your messages that are coming at that time. So that is a downtime. But what you do to ensure that you don't have a downtime on your phone so you can have access and use your data. The things you do is first, you charge your phone. Charging your phone is ensuring high availability of that phone. So you can use your data to make calls and all of this, right? So those are the things you do. In terms of security, what happens? You have created a login for your phone. You have used biometrics, might be a fingerprint, you know, a username and a password so that someone cannot just get into your phone. That is security. 
Why do you do that? You are actually securing your data. You are securing those contacts. You are securing those WhatsApp messages so someone don't get in and read your data. Right? When you look at this, I always like to transition this back to what you know and what you're going to be doing as a database administrator. And it takes you now to who is a DBA. So a DBA is a member of the IT team who is in charge to manage and maintain the company's data. DBAs have five key responsibilities. What they do, they install and configure the database management system that is used to manage this data. In this case, it could be SQL Server, it could be Oracle, it could be MariaDB, but we are focused in SQL Server, which is a Microsoft owned product. That is your first responsibility. The second responsibility is to ensure high availability. You want to make sure that your databases or the databases for a company are available at every time for users to be able to uh, access and make changes or update information that is on, the, uh, on those databases. The next is disaster recovery. You want to ensure that every company's data that resides on a database, if a disaster occurs, you as a DBA, you'll be able to help that company to recover that data. Right, so disaster recovery is also very important by taking regular backups, setting up solutions within the database management system that will help you accomplish that. You are also responsible to monitor and ensure performance tuning of the company's databases. Monitoring simply means you look at the databases, you do a capacity planning. This drive that holds this database is getting full. What do I need to do? Do I need to increase drive space? Do I need to ask for additional storage? Performance tuning is simply ensuring that those databases are working smoothly. Just like your phone. When your phone is slow, what happens? You get frustrated at times. So you want to ensure that people accessing this data to make use of it don't get frustrated. That is performance tuning. Another key thing you do is security. When it comes to security, you want to ensure that you assign permission to users to access data based on what they need. You don't want anyone to jump in and be able to look at customers' information, see their social security number. So you ensure security by granting permissions to users following the principles of least privileges. You ensure security by encrypting data using solutions that are within SQL Server. So those are some of the things that we do when it comes to administering databases in a company. With that said, you understand that every company has data. Being in the medical company, in the financial company, uh, you know, transportation, they have data. At least they have customers' data that they store and you are there to manage. You tell me today that, you see, data is the most integral part of any company. And if you start a career as a database administrator, believe me, you will never go wrong. Because you understand everything that is centered around data and you will never be at one point without a job. Just as a database administrator, you can transition to become a data analyst, you know, a report writer where you use data to generate reports for a company. Right, you can become a data engineer, but you need that starting point. And this is not something that is cheap. As a DBA, you start earning from six figures. That has been tested and proven here at Joint IT Solutions. So how does our training work? So we have a methodology that is second to none in training, especially absolute beginners to become database professionals. So in our methodology, we start you with the first two weeks, which is absolutely free. We introduce you to computers, the IT department, so you have an understanding of what this IT department is all about. That is absolutely free. Then from there, we gradually take you, you know, throughout the training for six months, you understanding all the things that you used to, that you need to do as a DVD. And this is purely hands-on. By the time you're done with our training, you will have at least knowledge or experience for someone who has been working as a DBA for four years. And we assure you that. That is why you see our trainees when they graduate, they get job all the time because the training is purely hands-on and they live with the experience that they are able 
to manage and maintain a company's database. So after our six months training, we are not just like any traditional training institution you hear out there. Come and learn uh, security for three months. And after three months, you are left on your own, right? Where you need to go figure out how to build a resume and all of that. So after our six months of training, we transition you while you're applying for jobs into an interview preparatory class and more hands-on trainings. So within that three months, that has always been a game changer. A lot of trainees get their jobs after that time. We help you in resume building, we support you on interview preps, we train you and you go there, you take the interview, you are able to defend yourself based on the knowledge that we have instilled in you. So that is very clear. After these three months of interview prep, we still don't tell you to go. We transition you into Join IT Graduate Forum. Where even if you have a job or you don't have a job, just because you want to stay active and still learning, you know, you are in this group. And once you go through Join IT, you are free to attend every class. Some people don't get jobs immediately after training. Some people don't get jobs immediately after the three months interview prep. But they still need to be learning. They still need to stick to the community so they don't lose focus. So we try to keep you throughout. And even while you are in that, our general IT forum, what we do once you get a job, we transition you into, you know, the joint IT alumni group where you have just DBAs. There, it is like a high alert group where if you are working and you have an issue at work, you have a task, you easily send a message there, we are there to help you. So you see that our training fee is $3,000, not for six months, but it's like a lifetime subscription to our joint IT community family. And that has been a game changer over the years. So what do I need to do in order to enroll? At this point, all you need to do is first have that zeal, have that push to get into IT and we will do the rest. Once you have made up your mind that I want to take this training, then you work on your schedule to attend classes. You get yourself a computer that meets our training requirements. We need a Windows computer, being in Windows 10 or Windows 11. You need a 16 gigabyte of RAM because this training, you have to install multiple instances of SQL Server. You need to build a virtualized environment to reflect an actual working environment. So the computer requirement is very important. Windows computer, 16 gigabyte of memory, and of course, enough storage from 500 gigabyte. So that is what you need to do. Then of course, you go to our website and you fill out the application form for our next training. Once you do that, we add you in the orientation group. Another thing you need to do to get all information, send a message to 210-993-7190. That is a joint IT officials for, uh, official phone number. Once you send a message there, we're going to get you and add you in our WhatsApp group for the next training. Okay? So, why take this training at Joint IT Solution? First, our success rate should motivate you to come and join us. Secondly, the methodology that we have in place should push you. Third, you understand that our training the 3000 is not for six months. So you pay 3000 to stay in an IT environment throughout your stay at Joint IT. And you are free to attend every classes. And you also have the opportunity to come back and mentor other trainees that are coming behind you. So these are a couple of things that I wanted us to talk about today. If you are listening to me today, feel free to share this. Invite your friends to attend our orientation in preparation for the next training in SQL Server Database Administration. Again, my name is Brian Chanwai. I'm the lead instructor here at John IT Solution. I'm a Microsoft certified trainer. I own various certifications in Microsoft. You know, I'm a Microsoft um, Solutions expert in data management and analytics. I'm a Microsoft Azure Cloud administrator and database administrator. I'm a Microsoft Certified Solutions Associate in administering Microsoft SQL Server databases. And at Join IT, all of our instructors, they are, or they are working in the field and they will give you the knowledge that you need in order to succeed. So join us for our new student intake slash orientation. Again, thank you all and you have a great day. Welcome to the IT field through Join IT Solutions. Bye.